Welcome to another demonstration of the Cicero platform. Today I will demonstrate how to use the annotation label. The annotation label is the fourth basic label type available to every Sysrev user. Unlike the other basic labels, the annotation label relies on the user highlighting text in a given article. For this reason, we recommend using annotation labels when you need to extract, catalog, and sort specific or complex strings from the text. Annotation labels are also a useful tool for exploring new areas of research, as they allow the user to capture new terms and sort them into known buckets. OK, let's begin the demonstration. In this project, I've uploaded articles from PubMed that were returned by the search query mutagenicity assays. As you can see, I've also created three annotation labels on the left, species, assay type, and chemical use. But before I start extracting, let's take a look at how I made these labels. Let's start with the species label. Again, the motivation behind annotation labels is the ability to sort strings into categories. In this specific case, I want to be able to sort specific animal or bacteria species into general buckets, e.g. sorting Salmonella typhimurium TA98 into test-specific bacteria. For this reason, I've entered a number of entities into this annotation label, each one corresponding to a bucket into which I will sort the text strings. For this specific label, I have added entities for the most common animal test species as well as an other. The assay type label is much simpler. I am simply interested in if the assay was an in vivo, in vitro, or computational assay. And then finally, I want to sort chemicals into two buckets. Is this chemical being tested by the assay, or is this chemical simply part of the process? OK, back to the Review tab. Here we see an abstract discussing Chinese hamster ovary cell mutation assays with three different chemicals. As I begin reading the abstract, the first entity that I see is actually two entities, a specific species cell line, as well as the title assay. Let's extract the species first. First, I click on the species annotation label, which brings up the annotation UI. I'm going to highlight the specific species cell line, Chinese hamster ovary cho cell, and then hit shift plus three to assign the entity hamster to the value, and hit save. Once saved, I can edit or delete individual annotations. But let's go back to the main labels dashboard. Next, we'll do the assay. Once again, I click on the corresponding annotation label, which brings up the annotation UI. I'm gonna highlight the full assay name, hit shift plus two to sort into in vitro, and again hit save. Last but not least, let's extract the chemicals. As you can see, it's quite simple to extract multiple strings with one label. Returning to any annotation label will allow for further extraction, editing, and deletion. Finally, once we are done extracting, we can fill out the required inclusion label and click Save, automatically bringing up the next article for extraction. In this way, the annotation label allows for specific text-based strings to be extracted and sorted into entities, aka buckets. This combines the open-endedness of string labels with the usability of categorical labels. As I said, annotation labels can be used by any Sysrev user. If you would like to try this demo, simply go to the registration link, which can be found in this video's description. As always, if you have any specific features that you would like demonstrated, or have any feedback on future feature development, feel free to drop us a line at info at Until next time.